Earlier this month, there was a bizarre rumor involving the Snickers candy bar. And the rumor went viral. It had to do with this allegation that the company that owns or makes the Snickers bars, Mars Inc., had done away with the penile vein that runs across the candy bar. Now, um, the Twitter user Juniper tweeted a doctored image of a news headline uh, which read, Snickers are officially caving and removing the world renowned D vein from the candy bar. Okay, so she then followed that up with a doctored image. Uh, here is the image in question, and it's a very smooth chocolatey bar. There are no veins involved whatsoever. And this led to panic, okay? Because a bunch of right wingers thought that Mars Inc. actually did this. They did not, in fact, do it. And so, why did Juniper put out this disinformation? The Snickers D vein had been a meme for quite some time before her tweet, but she was inspired to post the fake headline after watching the right wing media have a collective freakout over the candy company Mars, which also owns Snickers. Changing the green M&M's iconic footwear from high heel boots to sneakers. Now, even though Juniper's followers knew that the post was fake, other Twitter users unfortunately took it seriously. And after her tweet went viral, many on Twitter actually did end up accusing Mars of submitting to the so-called woke mob. Because that's what's going on in the country, right? There's a mob of people who are freaking out over the unsmooth nature of a Snickers bar. Like, but what's amazing, Jenk, is that people do buy it. And, and I think this is actually a cautionary tale in that it's so easy to put out fake news and have it picked up by other people. Um, here's an example of one person freaking out. Uh, no effing way, they write on, twi on Twitter. Uh, and, and they're sharing a headline, a literal headline that says, Snickers are officially caving and removing the world renowned, you know, D vein from the candy bar. Yeah. So, I mean, this story is obviously hilarious, but let's break it down a little bit more. We're saying D vein because we're not allowed to say that word on air, but they actually said it, right? So I'll call it penis vein because that's allowed. Um, my favorite part of the story is the right wingers who are like, oh my God, did you hear Snickers taking away the penis vein because the woke mob? Well, don't let him take away the vein of the penis and the Snickers. I want to eat the penis vein. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, no. They're essentially saying, I can't enjoy the candy bar unless I have that penis vein in my mouth. That is what they're saying. That's that what is right wing is. Look, I mean, God. In a sense, it is a brilliant piece of trolling. I mean, it, that could be hung up in a museum. And then the Republicans were like, "Oh my God, the penis vein oh, attack! Okay. We gotta get that in our mouth." Okay, <laughs> why were you upset that they were taking that away? Why does that like animate you? Fox Business wrote a story about it. People got up in arms. In fact, by the end, Juniper felt bad because it's like, like once you put it out there, you can't take it back because this. Even if you explain to people, "Hey, it's a it's a prank." Um, well, you're explaining it to a new set of people, and some of that might intersect with the people who heard the story the first time. But a lot of the people who heard the first story the first time never got the correction. So they're still raging. Like somewhere in the middle of Nebraska, there's still a guy saying to his neighbors, Did you know Snickers is taking away the penis vein? We've got to stop it. Because they never found out the truth. And is Anna. Fox yeah. It's amazing. Fox Business did a news story about the Snickers penis vein hoax that included comments from boomers clutching their pearls about woke mobs freaking out over candy bars. And Snickers felt the need to actually clear their name, okay? They wanted to defend themselves and through a tweet, they shared an image of a digitized Snickers bar complete with the vein saying, good news, contrary to what's trending on Twitter, the veins remain. Oh, Part no, of me thinks that this might just be a PR stunt by Snickers because, no. like, every time I, I like think about this story, I want to buy a Snickers. Yeah, I, I don't. But but the minute you, we showed the M and M chocolate chip cookies, I was like, mm. okay. <laughs> but guys, think about how funny this is. 
That's like it was significant enough. That the, those right there. I'm getting that right after the show. Anyways, uh, the the Snickers, the company had to put out a tweet saying, "Don't worry, we will keep the penis made in our candy." I mean, that's just epic. It's epic. But there, believe it or not, there is a serious point in here too. Um, if you read the book *Sapiens*, it's a brilliant book, and you should read it. Uh, it talks about how the human mind is flexible. Uh, that is, it's more open to suggestion. Uh, than your average bear, if you will, okay? And in fact, when our mind became more flexible, we became better better able to adapt. But now, that's where the book leaves it. I'll pick it up with this. Our minds became a little too flexible. So it became a situation where it's relatively easy to trick humans, homo sapiens, into believing almost anything. And that's why you're seeing what you're seeing. Uh, Across the world, we did a story earlier today about Russian propaganda and how the Russian people believe it because it's the only media that they're being served and they're not getting any other thing and they're believing outrageous things. You see it here in America where people are like, oh yeah, obviously Tom Hanks and other celebrities, let alone Democrats, are drinking kids' blood and doing all these things in a basement of a pizza shop. I mean, insane things you couldn't possibly believe, but they do believe it. And and the Snickers example is a, is a great one because if you can get them to believe that, what can't you get them to believe? So the human mind is a hell of a thing. It's it's a thing of beauty, but uh, it also creates nightmares. Just a little too flexible. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.